Good morning everyone and I hope you're doing well today. Today is Ash Wednesday, marking the beginning of the season of Lent. And in our service this evening, we'll be offering what's called the imposition of ashes, where we, we just use some ash to mark the sign of the cross on the forehead. And it's reminding us of a, of a few things. Firstly, the, the ashes themselves remind us of, of both our origins and our death. We're reminded that we, we come from the dust and to the dust we shall return. A reminder of our human frailty and our own mortality. Our utter need to depend on God even for life itself. And perhaps as we look at the news right now and we, we see what's going on in, in the Ukraine and across Eastern Europe, we maybe don't feel like we need that reminder of our own mortality in quite the same way. But as we, as we sit here in the relative comfort of being in the UK, at a, for now, a safe distance from that conflict, also distanced uh, the majority of us from the, you know, the huge pressures of access to water and food and medication that so many people around the world uh, deal with on a daily basis, perhaps we do still need that reminder that we too have come from the dust and to the dust we shall return. But it's not just the dust. The symbol that we make with those ashes is the sign of the cross, pointing us forward to the other end of this great season of Lent, where we will celebrate and remember Jesus' death on the cross, the sacrifice he has made for us. And then on the third day, his rising to life again and his victory that that signals over death and over suffering, over evil itself. And so we, we carry this symbol that reminds us both of our own mortality, but also of the victory which is ours in Christ. And it's a victory we take hold of as we respond in obedience to his call. And so we, we also hear those words, go now and sin no more. Turn to Christ, follow him. Go now and sin no more. Echoing the words that Jesus spoke to the woman caught in adultery. And so that's our call at the start of this season of Lent, is to be reminded of our utter dependence on God and to renew our, our response to following Jesus in obedience. And to do that, as we've looked the last few weeks in the Sermon on the Mount, of the, the kind of some of the core practices that that might include for us in these coming 40 days. The disciplines of, of giving, the disciplines of fasting and prayer. These are the things that are going to help us renew our focus on Christ. And to do those not in a way that is for the for, you know, for others to, to look on and admire, but for the audience of one. We do these things for God, for our Heavenly Father who sees what is done in secret. And so I, I want to encourage you to consider how are you going to engage in those disciplines through this season of Lent, that your walk with Jesus, your obedience to him would become more focused in the coming days. Why don't we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for today and the reminder of, of our own human frailty and mortality. That even our very life comes from you. We ask that by your spirit you will equip, empower and enable us to respond to your call. The call to turn away from sin and turn to Christ. And so would you help us through this season to grow in the disciplines of prayer, fasting, giving. That we might follow, follow Jesus better, become more like him.
and at the same time we we pray for those around the world who whose situation is is perhaps not as fortunate as ours we pray for the people of russia and the ukraine and all the nations kind of surrounding lord we long for your peace to reign and we pray too for those many people around the world who who won't enjoy today the comforts we have of shelter and food and clothing and clean water and medicine. And Lord, we pray your blessing on them and, and that you would bless the efforts of those who seek to, to distribute aid where it is needed. For we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.